Back everyone, we are out on our CBSA back lot this morning. It's always a great morning when we have dogs and cats on our back lot. <laughs> and it's also a great morning when we have Darlene with us this Thank morning. You. Uh, your organization, well, not only has been putting on Santa Paws for a very long time, right. but also uh, you guys are kind of leading the charge to connect a lot of the local organizations that are trying to get animals adopted. Exactly, right? that's what we do. The San Diego Animal Support Foundation has been doing, we have four actually, four events a year, okay. and we've been putting these events on for about 20, 22 years now. And we're looking at some and, of those animals. Yeah, that and they are just be keep getting adoption. bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger. And they're the biggest events in, at, at least that we know of, in all of California, if not the nation. Um, we this time we're going to have 29 rescues and shelters coming together, and they're going to bring at least 350 wow. adoptable animals out there. It's at Grossmont Center in La Mesa. And we take up, they, they literally give us the entire mall. Every Love inch it. of the interior <laughs> corridors of the mall goes to the dogs and cats that day. And again, just all of these groups come together and it's right before the holidays. We really encourage people to bring their families, their kids, yeah. their friends. Um, don't surprise someone with a gift for Christmas. It's very awkward right. and, and someone should pick out the love of their lives yeah. themselves. So bring your family and your friends to the event. Meet all the dogs and cats from all these different groups. Um, one group may not have the, what you're looking for, so just move on to the next group and they might have the perfect pet for you. So these are just some of the incredible yeah. organizations. By the way, it's going to be Grossmont Center, mm -hmm. 5500 Grossmont Center Boulevard, and it's only four so hours, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. So get out no there. No charge to get in or anything, Oh, right? it's no charge to get in. None of the groups pay anything for booth space. There are adoption fees. Every group has their own adoption fee and application and everything, but there's no charge to get in. Cindy Lou Who and the Grinch yeah. are also going to be there taking pictures. That's free whether you adopt a pet or not. Come go. on out and get your picture taken. So even if you're not guaranteed yes. to be adopting an animal, you can still come out. I mean, I always it's tend to fun. think that they, the animal kind of comes to you. Yes. If, you know, you're, where you're that right. connection is. I remember growing up, we would always go to the local boxer rescue. I grew up in LA. Yeah. And I remember every time we would go to adopt an animal, it was never an animal that we had on the list or whatever. We'd be seeing dogs walk around and we'd go, I think that's the one I'm for me. I'm so glad that you said that because there are people that have preconceived ideas of right. what they're going to adopt. And it's funny to see them go, uh, their children especially, right. pick something that's so opposite from yeah. where they were going. Um, so it's great to see that. I yeah. want to bring in Amy. Let's walk over to Amy. Uh, you have a Chihuahua with you this morning. <laughs> Tell us about your organization. Uh, Chihuahua Rescue of San Diego County. We are uh, volunteer based. Everyone, all the fosters come in, they get medical care, a loving home, and then we can report back at adoption events how they are, who they get along with, what their favorite things to eat are. This and who's is, this? This is JoJo. JoJo. She is six months old. She's a uh, She's a shit too. <laughs> we let her in. We let she her looks in. chilly this morning. Yeah, I think she's a little nervous. Usually she's like, rrr, rrr, rrr. yeah, exactly. Is she going to be up for her adoption? She is up for adoption. Um, we do home checks. We have you fill an application. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> this is Macho. Macho. I'm going to bring camera. Macho up he too. He wants to get on camera. He said, "Give me some screen yes. time here." He's actually from the WWE. He's a Macho Man, Randy Savage. Are you Savage. serious? That's so funny. <laughs> he is young. He's about a year old he's underweight so he'll need to continue on the puppy food um high calorie high protein mm -hmm. it's okay look at him shaking it's okay so macho both up for adoption they're right both up for adoption they'll be there on saturday uh to all rescue uh tents are set up over by cold stone ice cream inside and the grossmont center not only dogs but we also have cats that are going to be up for adoption good morning to you yeah, good tell morning. us your name and what organization you're with i'm terry hogan i'm from friends of cats we have a shelter out in east el cajon on old highway 80 and uh, this is Vivian. Vivian. Vivian is so cute. Yeah, she also she's about three years old. Looks very friendly. She's a tortoise shell, but she has to go to a, only one cat home. Okay, there she, we go. She's so sweet. She loves to sit down and cuddle with you. This, she was a previously adopted from us, and we've got a 100% return guarantee. Okay. So it, it didn't work out. So she's back with us again, and she's just, we, it's just so sweet. It's it. How long have you been with Friends with Cats? Friends of Cats, I should say. 35 years. 35 years. <laughs> yeah. What's your experience been like there? Really quite wonderful. I mean, sometimes it's uh, really challenging, especially right now with the cost of food. I, all the shelters, right. I mean, they're all in the same boat. Uh, 
it's just gone astronomical. And, and Darlene, uh, people can donate to your organization and to all the organizations that you partner with. My organization doesn't even want to donate. We've got so okay. many great organizations out right. there. We would rather focus on all of these amazing and organizations uh, on Saturday. Toward. So, yep. yeah, if you if you see a group that you really want to help out, bring out donations, uh, you can come find out about fostering for the different right. groups. If you don't want to oh, adopt, yeah, maybe you want to foster an animal. Or if you have things at home, dog food, cat food, bedding, yeah. towels, things it's that you want to bring to the event, please bring them out to the different groups. All right, let's keep yeah. traveling along <laughs> here. Good morning to you three. Uh, tell me your name and what organization you're with. My name is Stephanie, and we're with Friends Human Services of Tijuana. Awesome. And this right here is Raina. Come here, Raina. Raina's a little bit shy. Hi, She's Raina. one year old. Um, she's great with kids and cats, and she's just very, very, very loving. So, uh, tell us about your organization. Are these animals from Tijuana? Yes, we rescue a lot of our animals come from the streets of Tijuana, and not in very good condition. Right. So, of course, we take them in, and we give them the vet care, and like, we said we do run on donations, so yeah. our, a lot of the organizations run on donations. Uh, tell us about what it's been like to be a partner uh, of this organization, to be able to kind of team up and all come together it this weekend. It is amazing. It's a really great experience um, to see where the dogs come from, how they get to us, and to be able to see how happy and different they become so different yeah. once they get the what they need the love and the care and the vet care right and they just become they're not perfect but who is? <laughs> exactly who is? sweetie what's your name valeria valeria uh tell us uh what do you have any dogs at home yes and what what emotions oh. do dogs bring you how do you feel about your puppies your uh, dogs i feel happy you feel happy about them so i think a lot of families are going to want to come out this weekend and like we said you obviously don't have to go home with an animal but no. there are going to be hundreds that <laughs> Are hundreds around yes. <laughs> <laughs> including the chihuahuas the kitties the dogs um, so remind us where people can go for more information again uh, if you want to go to the website you can go to stshelters.org the event again is at Grossmont Center inside the mall it's not in the parking lot we take up the interior of the yeah. mall so the whole mall and that's 5500 Grossmont Center drive from 11 to 3 again we're gonna have the Grinch and Cindy Lou who out there for photos free photos if right. you want to take those pictures. I also want to mention really quick about, she would mention that some of the dogs are from Mexico. I just want to remind everybody that even the dogs that are coming up from Me Mexico follow the same laws mm -hmm. that we require here in right. California. All the pets have to be spayed, neutered, and fully vaccinated, and those are all part of the adoption fee. So you don't have a big vet bill right. after you adopt these dogs because all of this stuff has already been done. And, and you're, cats. Yeah. And cats, exactly. And cats, yeah, so exactly. And, and cats. cats. Um, and so when you guys are, are here at the event this upcoming weekend, uh, tell us what people can expect. Are they are these dogs going to be up for people to pet and walk around with? They will. Some, some of the cats will be in kennels because okay. obviously There's you don't want to be so yeah. many. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the dogs will be a lot of a lot of the groups put them into big pens so right. that you can come up and meet them. A lot of them will just be on leashes walking around the mall so everybody can interact. None of them are going to be behind cages, okay. which is kind of a nice Love thing. It. It's not, it's a really happy environment and a happy uh, event. You just feel awesome. good about being there. Thank you yeah. for being with us this morning. Thank, Thank you, you all for joining us this morning and to the animals as well. <laughs>